everyone today we will talk about uh, polynomial that is chapter 2 class 10th so first of all quadratic polynomial this time our focus will be on quadratic polynomial quadratic means if the degree is 2 okay so standard quadratic polynomial generally quadratic polynomial is denoted by ax square plus bx plus c means if you need to consider anywhere any quadratic polynomial so you will consider like ax square plus bx plus c now these coefficients these are very important always we will remember that coefficient of x square always it is said to be a coefficient of x b and constant term c so remember these coefficients a b and c now in this chapter we will deal uh, mainly with the zeros of the polynomial so first of all understand this if the value of the polynomial px for suppose any polynomial is given to us and it become zero for any x is equals to k for any value of x the value of the polynomial become zero then that is if pa is equals to 0 for any x is equals to a then this value of x then this value of x is equals to a is said to be zero of polynomial okay this value of x okay so let us take an example for example any polynomial i have consider here x square minus 6x plus 8 okay so let us take some values of x let uh, at x is equals to 1 we are calculating this polynomial at x is equals to 1 so how we used to calculate it we replace x by 1 so it will be 1 square minus 6 into 1 plus 8 so value we are getting here 3 okay in the same way calculate p2 calculate the value of polynomial at x is equals to 2 to so this time i am writing directly 2 square 4 4 and 8 12 and uh, 6 into 2 that will also okay uh, 4 minus 12 plus 8 so the value we are getting is 0 okay at 2 remember this at 2 we are getting value 0 let us calculate some more values polynomial at 3 at 3 the value of polynomial will be 9 minus 18 plus 8 that is minus 1 and in the same way the value of the polynomial we are calculating at 4 also so we observe that uh, at 4 the polynomial again um, 16 minus 24 plus 8 if we are replacing x by 4 now then this value is also we are getting 0 okay so we have solved p1 we are getting 3 p2 0 p3 minus 1 p4 0 now these two things are very important for us at x is equals to 2 at this value at x is equals to 2 our polynomial is coming 0 at x is equals to 4 again our polynomial is coming 0 so these two values of x which are making polynomial zero means x is equals to 2 and x is equals to 4 these are zeros of polynomial polynomial i am writing in short px okay so these two values which are making polynomial zero are called zeros of polynomial now let us understand how can we find out zeros of the polynomial and this time our main focus will be on the quadratic 
In ninth standard, we have studied about a linear polynomial and how to find out its zeros. For basic concepts of polynomial, uh, I will suggest that uh, you should watch the video of class 9th chapter 2 polynomials where we have studied all the terms uh, linear, quadratic, cubic, monomial, binomial, about degree in detail. Okay, So once uh, you should go through that video also before starting class 10th chapter 2. Okay, so let us uh, learn how to find out the zeros. Mainly our focus will be on the quadratic polynomial. So what we have to do actually, we need to factorize the given polynomial either by using identity or by middle term splitting or by taking common by any of the method, you have to factorize it. Okay, so here I can see uh, that uh, only middle term splitting is uh, applicable. And if you don't know the about middle term splitting, then again also I will suggest uh, chapter 2, class 9th polynomial in which uh, I have explained middle term splitting and all the factorization method in uh, uh, very detail. Okay, so let us start in brief now. The const, uh, constant term is 8. So we need to break this 8 in two parts so that their product on multiplication, I should get a uh, if you are breaking it in two parts on multiplication it should be 8 and before this minus sign is there so on subtraction on subtraction we should get the middle term that is 2 so I think 4 to the 8 will be the appropriate number 4 to the 8 and 4 minus 2 2 so how we will continue this just write down everything as it is x square as it is minus sign as it is in place of this 2 x also as it is minus and 8 everything as it is in place of 2 we will write 4 minus 2 now simplify the bracket x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 then take pairwise common x common here we will get x minus 4 then plus 2 common x minus 4 then take out this complete bracket x minus 4 and x plus 2 like this we are getting the factors of the polynomial now for zeros to find out zeros your either this bracket should be 0 or another bracket x plus 2 is equals to 0 if this bracket 0 if this this 0 or this 0 if x minus 4 is 0 then we will get the value of x as 4 and if this bracket is 0 we will get x is equals to minus 2 so these two values if you calculate the value of the polynomial at 4 you can check it here 4 4 is a 16 minus 8 minus 8 you are getting 0 and in the same way at x minus 2 minus 2 square minus 2 square minus 2 minus 2 minus 8 minus 2 square 4 plus 4 minus 8 at this value your polynomial is coming out 0 so to find out zeros we will factorize the given term let us take one more example like 4u square plus 8u and we have to find out the zeros here we can see only two terms are there so middle term splitting will not be applicable any identity also uh, not seems to be applicable uh, common uh, we can take something so let us take common if uh, uh, I think 4 is common and u is also common let us see what will left in the bracket 4 we have taken out common u square u 1 u will left and then 4 2 is 8 and then u will come out now for zeros means for to get this whole polynomial 0 is ye pura polynomial 0 kab aayega either this term should be 0 or this term should be 0 either u should be 0 the first thing is u and or the second thing is u plus 2 it should be 0 so u 0 is giving value itself and uh, from u plus 2 0 we are getting u is equals to minus 2 actually after factorization when you got two things in multiplication then we conclude either first thing zero or second thing zero because uh, 
product multiplication you have never heard any two uh, numbers any two uh, i can say for example any two number 5 multiply 3 is equals to 0 have you heard any time can the product of any non zero number non zero this is non zero zero nahi hai ye bhi zero nahi hai can the product equals to zero never to get the product zero one of the number should be zero hmm one of the number should be zero one zero and one non zero they can give the product zero that's why we consider either this bracket zero or this bracket zero ये प्रोडक्ट पूरा जीरो आने के लिए टू गेट दिस होल प्रोडक्ट जीरो आइदर फर्स्ट फैक्टर शुड बी जीरो और द सेकंड फैक्टर शुड बी जीरो है ना वी कैन नेवर गेट नेवर गेट लाइक दिस दिस इज नॉन जीरो अनादर टर्म इज आल्सो नॉन जीरो एंड वी गेट द प्रोडक्ट जीरो दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल नॉट पॉसिबल दिस केस ओके सो दैट्स वाई वी टेक वन ऑफ द ब्रैकेट जीरो एंड then uh, we find out the zeros of the polynomial so in our next video uh, we will verify uh, the relationship between coefficients and zeros the coefficients uh, the coefficients of u square coefficient of u like this a b c those coefficients and zeros these zeros whatever you are getting so we will verify the relationship and learn some more thing about polynomials so stay tuned enjoy life enjoy maths as it's easy